Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so what do you think happens when when Tom, uh, when you die? You go to heaven or hell. Okay, you go to. Okay. Um, so who's in charge of of this? Huh? Who's in charge of deciding whether you go to heaven or hell? God. God. Okay. Where do you think you go? Where do you mean? Yeah. Where would you go? You. Oh, heaven. How do you know that? Because I repented for my sins. You repented for your sins. Okay. What do you mean by that? Salvation. Salvation. Okay. So, let me see if I get this right. You're telling me that you hope that you go to heaven because you repented of your sins. Is that the reason? You sure? sure? Okay, how about you? Um, I feel like whenever you die, you have heaven or hell, and ultimately, <laughs> God decides. God decides, so you too believe in God? Yes, yes. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, yes. Do you believe there is the Word of God? Okay. I will quote you a verse from the Bible, and I want you to tell me what you think. This is from the Apostle Paul, it says, because by the deeds of the law, or by keeping the law, no flesh, that is no human being, will be justified in the sight of God. What do you think of, what do you think of that? <laughs> I believe it means that by doing good things, no one can go to heaven. Alright, have you ever heard about the Ten Commandments? Do you know that the but but do you know that the Bible says that the Ten Commandments is actually the standard of righteousness? That is, the Bible says that that is the standard by which God will judge you and you and me and everybody else. So, let me ask a question. Well, actually, a few questions. But before I do that, I want you to know that this is designed by God to allow us to know what is our need. Okay. All right, here goes. Before I said something, I want I want you to know this: that the standard is that you never fail one. If you fail one, you that's it. You're done. Okay, here go. Have you ever lied? Did you answer your question. Yes. Oh yes, yes. All right. What do you call a person who lies? Oh, liar. Liar by definition, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's one of the commandments. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? All right, that's the fifth commandment. Thou shall not dishonor your father or mother. Mm -hmm. Right? Here's another one. Have you ever committed murder? No. That is killing somebody. Right? Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said that you have heard that you should not commit murder, but I tell you the truth, that whoever hates his brother in his heart has already committed murder in his heart. So at that level, all of us, in one point, have committed murder, right? Mm -hmm. So, if that is the standard, and according to that standard, then, if God was to judge each and one of you tonight, according to the standard, where would you go? According to that standard. I mean, those were sins, so you repent for your sins. Huh? He forgives you for your sins if you repent for them. So. Okay. That is part true, but it's a little bit of not right either. Let me explain you why. Let's say you stand before a court of law being accused of having killed somebody and they have you in, in camera, I mean in video, that you did it. There's no, there is no excuse, they know it, they saw it, they have the video and you're guilty. And you tell the judge, judge, I'm sorry I killed that person, that was just that one time and I'm sorry and I repent. Would the judge let you go? No. Why? Because you still killed that person. Right. And it won't bring them back. Okay, so so your problem is you committed a crime and there has to be an answer to the crime. The crime must be met. Justice must be satisfied. Correct? Correct, right? So you see, in the same way, if you repent, you're lacking still justification. You have heard of Jesus Christ correct yes. okay 
this is probably the part that you miss. You see, the Bible says that God became a man in the person of Jesus Christ, came to the earth, and check this out. He lived a perfect holy life, that is the life that you and I had failed to, to live, a holy life. He never sinned, never break, broke the commandments. But how did Jesus die? Crucified, right? Mm -hmm. Why did Jesus have to be crucified? You see, in the crucifixion, God was dealing with Jesus Christ and treating Jesus as if Jesus was you and I. That is, he was receiving the punishment that all of us deserve. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So, we said about justice, right? We spoke about justice. Justice needed to be satisfied. So Jesus presented himself as a human being, perfect, holy, with no sin, on behalf of humanity, so that those who repent and believe can be justified in the basis of faith. Faith in what? In what he did for us. So God forgives all of those who repent and believe, not because they deserve it, because they deserve to believe, I mean to be saved, but because someone else paid the price, satisfied justice. And the Bible says that God credits that justice, that righteousness that belonged to Jesus Christ, to everyone who believes, and as a consequence of that, repent from their sins. What do you think about that? Huh? Pretty cool, huh? So what God commands everyone is to repent and to believe in Jesus Christ. Because other, otherwise, you will stand in Judgment Day and you will have to face God in judgment with your own, your own righteousness, which is not good enough. Because we already established you broken the law like everybody else has. So what are you going to do with that? Well, I just give you the good news, the gospel. With that comes the commandment to repent and believe. So what are you going to do with that? Right, it is obvious that if you understand what it means, it means that you must repent. That is to turn away from your sins, from following your own desires, your own, your own heart. Jeremiah the prophet said that our hearts are wicked and desperately deceitful and no one can know them. And turn to God on the basis of faith in Christ Jesus. And that is the good news. So what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to do right now is to share the good news with you because someone else shared the good news with me and I repented and believe in Christ and because of that now I share the good news with others so I just wanna ask you to think about it because the truth is that you don't know when you're gonna die so if you stand before God thinking that God will forgive you just because you have repented or because you're sorry that will not be enough Right? Just like that judge will be not satisfied just with an apology, justice must be satisfied. Right? Okay, well, thank you so much. You're very kind.